Hi everybody, my name is Cynthia Ontiveros. I'm the principal of the Young Women's STEAM Academy and Armendariz Middle School. I'm here today to walk you through our first day of school together. Um, I know there's a lot of questions and, and a lot of maybe confusion, but we want to let you know that we are ready for you. Our teachers and our administrators have been working around the clock um, to make sure that our, our students are going to come into our digital learning environment, our online learning environment, ready to hit the, the ground running. So first we'll start with um, visiting our episd.org webpage. And um, I just wanted to show you where you can find all of the information that you need as a parent. Um, a lot of questions we get are, is what, what does my student schedule look like? How do I get into Schoology? So I'm going to show you all of that right here. So on this web page, we have some quick links for you that you can find at the bottom um, where it will take you directly to Parent Portal. Um, and that's the first place we're going to begin. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And once you're in Parent Portal, you're going to log in. And as you log in, you're going to select your student. So I'm going to select one of my students here. At the top of this page, you're going to see different tabs. You're going to click on Report Cards. This is where your student's schedule is located. Um, and it's, it's presented in the exact order that the students will be um, joining class. So for the example here, um, we have Ms. Guerrero, um, first period, second is Ms. Arredondo, third Ms. Pacheco. That's just an example. So now what do we do? So next you're going to um, show or have your student um, go to Schoology. Dot, I'm sorry, episd.schoology.com. This is where they're going to find all of their courses. So let's get there. We're going to go episd.schoology.com and it's already on my map here. And so here we go. Here's the courses for the student. Um, and uh, you, if you look at the report card, it gives it to you in the exact order. Um, so you just look to see what class. Now I remember seeing um, Mr. Delgado's class with computer science. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in here and look what we see here. We see all of the personality of our teacher coming out. Um, Although we're on this virtual environment um, learning experience, our teachers are working really hard to make sure they make that personal connection with you. So you'll see a lot of personality come out in their pages. Here's a nice welcome video from him, a letter with classroom expectations, and he's even set up his own uh, a Bitmoji classroom for you. So you can see the personality come out in our teachers. There's a lot of folders that as a parent you can click in and you can see what your students are doing. Um, but we're working one week at a time, so it's not overwhelming for you. But go ahead and go in there and take a look. Look to see what your teachers have posted. Um, and reach out to them if you have any questions. The next thing that I want to show you is a sample schedule of what an elementary student on their district webpage under episd.schedules, we have um, sample uh, schedules for elementary, middle, and high school. And so um, this kind of gives you a day's view of what your student will experience. Now we don't expect them to be online from 8 in the morning to 4 p.m. That's not going to happen. Um, we have built-in breaks for them. Um, even within our class, we want to make it as engaging as we can. And so there's discussions, there's opportunities for them to do work on their own and then maybe come back with their teacher. And so you'll see that variety within your classes. So this example here, of course we want our student to wake up early, have a great breakfast, and be ready. Sit in a place where maybe it's quiet, and they're ready to, um, to learn. Uh, so in this case, our, our class starts at 8.15 to 8.30, and we're starting, we're easing our way into our day with social-emotional learning, and this is where the teacher gets to check in with his or her students just to see how they're doing. Um, relationships and building rapport with our students is very important, and this SEL connection is where this is going to happen um, at the beginning of the day and, of course, throughout the day. You'll also see that the different um, content areas are broken up into um, hour or so sections, and there's also breaks, okay? Um, we, we know that our students, um, there's a, a, 
um, the activities and the discussions and so forth, but they also need time to get up, walk around, maybe get some fresh air, and those will be built in. Um, there's also, if you can see here at the end of the day, there's what's called enrichment. And several of the classes, and depending on what, your, what level your student is in, will have that. Um, but this is a time to check in with your teacher. Maybe they need tutoring. Uh, maybe they just want to ask some questions. Maybe you want to also see and join in with your student um, for that additional support that you may be able to provide. Um, and then lastly, it's the end of the school day. Time for them to, to relax. Um, get their work in, maybe have a great dinner with the family, and then get ready for the next day. Uh, please, please know that we have been working really hard around the clock for, to get ready for this day, and we're here to help you. If you have any questions, you can reach out to your campus administrators, your teachers, um, and um, call them or text them, email them. A lot of our campuses has set up um, Zoom rooms where you can you know, join in live or also call them using Google phone numbers. So take advantage and, and if you need help, please reach out and ask for that help. We're here for you and we can't wait to start the, the first day of our school year.